It's another five upgrades to your Volkswagen Transporter for under £100 in five minutes. Start the clock. Number one on the list, and that is these black grill trims. So in a bid to remove the last remaining pieces of chrome from factory on the T6 Highline, we can swap this straight out for a replacement part that is in black from Transporter HQ. All we need is one of these trim removal tools and you do have to get a little bit heavy handed and it's gonna make a real horrible noise, but I promise you it's all gonna be okay. Arguably, you could remove the chrome strip that is existing on your van, scratch it up and spray it, or maybe even vinyl wrap it. But for the cost of one of these, which is about $18.95, all you need is a trim removal tool. I think it's more cost effective to replace it. I am fully aware that this is going to make horrible audio, but you need to know, do not fear that noise because not one single clip has been broken in the process using the trim removal tool. Clean this up because, well, why wouldn't you? And my only advice would be start from the badge end. So start from your Volkswagen badge and slowly but surely clip that in. Let's take a look at before. Let's take a look at after. Let's move on. Number two on the list and it is the ultra bright LED smoked sequential side repeaters. They're the ones I chose anyway. And all you're gonna need is your Tesco club card. Installation truly is as simple as this. If you use a card to lever yourself into the indicator, push towards the back of the van, and that will release the clip that is holding the indicator in place. Now there will be a piece of 3M tape here, and there will be a new piece of 3M tape on the new indicator. Simply pull on the tab, remove, replace, peel the strip, This is what they look like pipped together. I think regardless of the pattern being that much nicer, it's so lovely to look at. I am truly sorry if that is a lot of black on black and you can't quite see exactly what's going on, but that is what I am actually aiming for. I am trying to darken this van as much as possible, rid the white, rid the chrome, but that is a very, very simple upgrade. And let's take a look at before. And let's take a look at after. Credit where credit's due, number three on the list is my mother's idea, in fact. Every single week, my mother says to me, are you going to make the handles on your van black? Well, yes, I am. Parts and brake cleaner, clean the handles. This is, once again, in a bid to break up the white, remove the chrome, which is a massive irony because when you buy a Highline, it's the color-coded bits that you're paying for, but if you're going full swamper mode, you kind of want to break up that white. Peeling off the 3M tape on the inside of these handles is probably going to be the hardest part about this upgrade, which is good because I probably need to claw a bit of time back. Push these over the top, press them into position, just like that. This may not be everyone's cup of tea and I totally appreciate that. And I do in fact have a vinyl guy. But for all those people that do not have Paddy Doodles on their speed dial, this may be your option. Look, look what I'm doing. Yes! <laughs> And that is the stick-on door handles from Transporter HQ, currently about 1895. Let's take a look at before. And let's take a look at after. Number four, calling all pop top owners. Do you suffer with the same problem as I do? This little fella here is called a spool. And this is going to tidy this pop top strap syndrome no end you get a thing here that looks a bit like a cotton reel with a few slots kind of 3D printed out of the center of it. And all we are going to do is, see, I've got a knot in it, which I didn't even know before I started filming. All we're going to do, and I'm gonna do this rough and ready because I've probably got about 30 seconds, is push it through the cotton reel, let's call it the spool, take it to about 50%, so that's about halfway through. And then all we're gonna do is roll it up. In the box, you get a few hair bands, and that sounds a little bit silly to supply you with a few hair bands. But what the great part about that is, if you lost the hair bands, which are going to act as a strap, they're easily replaceable. 
you can get them from anywhere, including news agents on that weird little stand where they sell all kinds of things like nail clippers. So with that in mind, all you do is reel that up like that. Check that out. Look how tidy that is. Now I miscalculated halfway and I've got a little bit left over and all I'm gonna do is put that up there. But we put our little hairband round what I'm calling the cotton reel and that works an absolute treat. Such a simple design, guys. Obviously, I've got the UAO there. I can't promise that the guy in the link below can offer you your own logo. Depends how intricate it is, I guess. But these are 15 pounds and they come in all colors straight off the shelf. This guy got back to me in no time at all. I did contact a few people before and they really dragged their feet on getting back to me. So I am willing to put a link to this guy below. So that does take 30 seconds to reel up and yes it would be quicker to just wrap it around your fist and stuff it in there but for the amount of times i use the pop top once a month maybe at a push i don't mind doing that especially as that looks really cool do you suffer with dangly pop top strap syndrome do you have a head the answer to both of those questions is yes the first five people to buy a UAO hat from my Shopify store will receive a free set of spools. The color you will receive is a total gamble. Please look for the listing that has the picture of the spools in it. Number five on the list, and it is potentially my favorite on today's list. It's only 10 pounds and it is a mini surfboard. This is the perfect thing to replace the lay, the Hawaiian garland, which a lot of Volkswagen transporter owners used to have over their rear view mirror or on their dashboard. Well, I think that's out and these are in. Check this out. They are personalized, so it is the perfect gift for 10 pounds. I mean, I've got Urban Arc Overland engraved on the back. They are the perfect stocking filler. Christmas is coming. I know this sounds like I'm in love with these things and that is because I truly am. That was before the bonnet went black. I reached out to the guy and he sent me one with black bonnet and even a side on one. Do check out the link below because he does big tables of similar versions. He does gift packs. These things, totally love them. What a little gem. I did try my hardest to keep the five upgrades to the Volkswagen Transporter below five minutes. Not quite sure if I've done that yet until I start the editing. And I'm not quite sure if I did, in fact, keep it below £100 because collectively it was about £106.70. And, and if you use the code U805 at Transporter HQ for the first three items, I think, rough maths, it brings it down to about £100 one pounds maybe 102 pounds but these were the five that i wanted so these were the five that i've done which ones would you choose which ones are you going to choose drop your comments down below and also feel free to let me know things that i should be taking a look at and what other people like yourself might want to see on the channel